What if I told you we're going to do the most searched Christmas song ever, but we're going to do it in a rhythm and a style you've never, ever heard before. You got to stick around for this one. This is Jingle Bells. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Over the hill we go, laughing all the way. All right, we're going to stop right there. That's just a little taste of this version of Jingle Bells, which is going to be in like a Calypso style. The backing track is, is absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to show you the strum pattern. You haven't done the strum pattern before. It's the kind of one I just kind of felt with this track. Uh, it's really, really cool. But anyway, we'll get to that in a second. First of all, I'm Terry Carter. This is You Crack the Pros. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you haven't done so already, maybe you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. That way you get alerts on all the ukulele tutorials, reviews. We do also guitar lady and baritone. All right, so this is part of our Christmas uh, series that we're doing. We got a bunch of great, fantastic Christmas songs. We're gonna put links to some of those below. Uh, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, Silent Night, Mali Kalikimaka. They're all there. Check them out. They're absolutely fantastic. And if you want the sheet music for this one, we're going to put a link below for that as well. You can go get the sheet music, get the backing track. The backing track itself is <laughs> worth the price of admission right here. This is absolutely amazing backing track, my man, pair. So, all right, we're going to be in the key of G for this one. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm playing my Koaloha Mango Tenor. Uh, I'll talk a, little, talk a little bit more about that in a second. But uh, what are you playing? Leave a comment below. I want to know what ukulele you're playing. I'm also playing low G. Are you a low G or a high G? Leave that in a comment below. All right. I'm also going to ask you what book this is from. But hold up. Oh, let's get the little plane here. Grab your G chord here. All right. So this is in four four. So you're gonna you're gonna see it. you're gonna see it. We're gonna count it in four four. But really, we're doing it in cut time. So really, each measure is we really count it in two. And I'm gonna help you through that with the backing track here in a bit. But um, just know that. And so the rhythm is gonna be this. So this is probably a, a new rhythm that you probably haven't seen a whole lot of. It's got to be really specific to a style um, or a, a feel of a backing track. And so uh, we're going to be in two. One, two, one, two. What I'm going to do here, and so first, first thing you got to approach here is just this. One and a two and a one and a two. You kind of want to get that that right hand moving just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the downstroke, and that's going to be a mute. You actually don't even have to do it. I'm, I'm actually kind of just doing probably like a palm mute here, just kind of using this part of my hand to get that mute. So one, up, you hear the sound, and then nothing, nothing, and then, and that's it. So it's really going to be eight strums for these two beats, so they're 16th notes, okay? Just so you know. So it's going to go one, E, and the two, E, and that's the rhythm for the whole time. Uh, now, yes, I'm gonna little, throw in a little variety. <laughs> that's what happens when you sing and you get into the song. It's okay to loosen up a little bit, but you gotta get this down. So it's one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. You wanna start there, make sure you get it down. If you add a little upstroke, a little extra mute here and there, totally fine, okay? You gotta get into the feel of the music. So, um, all right. Next question for you, and I love to see your comments, is what book did I get it from? If you've been following these Christmas songs, I've been asking what books, and there have been a, uh, three or four books that I'm using, but I'm going to give you three options right now. Put it below, and I'm going to tell you at the end which one it might surprise you, okay? So is it in my favorite Christmas book here, the Christmas ukulele fake book, this red version? Is it in this ultimate Christmas fake book? Now, this is a blue version. This is four, but this is actually up to edition five now, which is red. I just keep on forgetting to grab it from my shop. And then uh, the daily ukulele book. So which one is it from? Let me know in the comments below. And yes, all of these are available at my store. That's store.ucollectthepros.com. All right. No, uh, we were just going over the rhythm. We're in the key of G. It's actually a pretty simple song because there's not a lot of chords. You're going to have the C chord in it. You're going to have, uh, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> You're going to have the uh, D chord in it, or D7 in it first. You're going to see the D7 first. It's going to have the A minor in it. Actually, the A minor comes first, but the A minor. And then it's going to have an A7. 
And then right at the end, it's going to have a D chord, although you don't really have to play this D chord. You could actually just play D7. So that's it. Uh, pretty simple. And that's what I like about the key of G for this one. All right. Uh, so what should we do? I want to get the backing track because I want to help you with this, this counting in two, this cut time, just so you really understand what it's like. All right, let me go ahead and grab my headphones. I'm going to dive right into it. All right, I got my headphones on for the backing track. And even though you're going to hear the clicks up front in four, I'm going to help you feel this in two, and then I'll do a little playing. Don't worry, we're going to go over the whole song, and then at the end, we're going to do it with the backing track. All right, check this out. <laughs> So that was the first verse, and I'm going to show you that. Don't worry, but I just want to help you with the counting right now. Okay, this time I'm just going to play the backing track again, but this time I'm just going to count with you. All right, you ready? A one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, uh, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now check this out. Two. So that's it. So again, you're going to hear four clicks when we count in, but it's really going to be felt too. So you should really be counting just like I was clapping, right? This is cut time. It's very, very cool, but it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. All right. Again, I asked you earlier, what are you playing? I'm playing my Koloha Mango with a low G. This is available at store.youcollectopros.com. Actually, um, the biggest Koloha dealer here in the States. So if you like the mango or you like the cola, I got those as well. But I also got the Koloha Koalana version, which are really great kind of entry level ukuleles, as well as the opio versions of them as well. So if you want the entry level Koloha, you want the high end, we got it all store.youclickthepros.com. All right, so what I like to do now is I like to go through the form real slow with you just to go over the chords. There's really only two parts. There's like an A section and a B section. What we're going to do is just AA, so the A part twice, and then BB. Um, each one has a first and second ending that's changed slightly, but that's really not a big deal. So I'm just going to go over the A section and the B section, and then we're going to do it with the killer backing track. Again, having this, I told you this earlier, having the sheet music in front of you with the chords, everything, uh, having the backing track, it's really going to help. We'll put a link below. Go get that stuff. I mean, why not? Just have it, and then you can practice along with it, and then that way, you're going to master this video. All right, so check this out. One, two, one, two. Dashing through the snow. Whoa, whoa. Stop. Whoop. Hold the brakes. I always forget to do this. Tell you the melody notes. So let me go over the melody notes for you, and then we're going to try this again. All right, so the first melody note is right here. This is D note. This is the fifth of the chord. This is dashing through the snow. So there's your melody for this A section. And then when you get to the part everybody knows, jingle bells, it's just G chord again, but it's the B note. Jingle bells, jingle bells. It's a B note. All right, that always helps. You always want to know that first starting note. Uh, you want to look at the music, look at the sheet music, get that starting notes. If you don't know how to read music, I got you covered. Check out my beginning music reading course, youcollectopros.com. It's an awesome course. You're going to learn so much and it's really going to help you with this kind of stuff. All right, so let's do this again. Again, no backing track yet, just nice and slow. We're going to go over the A section. One, two, one, two, dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Now repeat, bells on my bells ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing bell tonight. All right, so I lied. We did both A sections, A and B, the first and second ending. Again, everything is on the screen here. If you need more help, just go get the, the sheet music for this. All right, now we're going to get to the, the B section or the chorus part. The part everyone really knows is the jingle bells. One, two, one, two. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. All right, so that's the first ending there. It just has that A7. Now, what I told you earlier, it does have the D chords to the D7, but if you just want to play the D7, because it's kind of a quick change, just play the D7 for that metric. It totally works fine. All right, and then the second time is jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on one horse open sleigh. 
And that's it. That's all we're going to do. A, A, B, B, um, and we're done with it. All right. So let's do it with the backing track here. It's really, really fun. Um, and again, as you notice, that rhythm, I'm, I'm kind of changing it up a little bit, right? I'm changing it up a little bit. And that happens, especially when you're singing. You don't have to be a robot. Get the rhythm down, and then it's okay to loosen it up a little bit. All right. So if you dig what we're doing here, I already mentioned it earlier. Check out youcollectthepros.com. Besides the music reading course, we got a fantastic membership. Uh, p- people all over the world. We got courses. We got ukulele courses. We got guitar lately. We got baritone. We got everything over there. And we got a fantastic community. We call it the Ukulele like Pros Nation. Come on and be a part of it. All right. But for now, we're going to let Pear do his thing on the backing track. We're going to play along and sing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on. Show me what you got. A one, two, three, four, dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bob tail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh bell tonight. I'm going to take that right now. Even though one of my earbuds fell out, we're going to go with that one right there. Keep it loose. Don't do too many takes. Okay. It gets sterile. All right. It's okay if it's a little loose, if as long as it's got good energy. And even though I was only hearing one of one ear, we're going to rock that one right there. Just like that. How did you do? This is how we do it. You leave a score below one to five, one meaning, no prop. Nope. One meaning you need work. <laughs> one it was a little, a little hard for me, Terry. That rhythm was a little tough. Keep it with the backing track. I don't really understand the cut time. That's a one. Five is crushed it. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. Got the chords. Got the rhythm. Nailed it with the backing track and even did a little singing. So leave that below. Um, anyway, I appreciate you being here. Make sure to smash that like button. Give this video a like. Um, that helps it get out to every, everybody out there. So um, anyway, uh, the book. <laughs> Believe it or not, the last video I did, I actually forgot. I had to re-record the end because I forgot the book. All right, so what book did I get this version from? Uh, now, you know, this is my favorite book. This is my new little favorite book right here. And then a lot of the books or a lot of the songs for this year have been coming from, of all books, The Daily Ukulele, which has a fantastic holiday section in it. But the winner for today, the winner for today is this one. This is the Christmas, ultimate Christmas fake book. Again, this one is blue, the new versions in red. Uh, by the time you watch this video, who knows? Maybe it's green or something. But anyway, if you check this out, I want to point this out to you. This version here, this book is a fake book, meaning it's not just for ukulele. So if you look at it, there's no chord charts. There's nothing here. It's just for any instrument. So you got to know your chords a little bit, but I like this book a lot. The arrangements are really, really good in it. And again, you can get this book as long as these other ones at store.youcollectthepros.com. So anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Don't forget to check out all the other videos we have. we got fantastic Christmas videos. Check out youcollectthepros.com for your courses, your memberships, all that kind of stuff. Um, appreciate you being here. Thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome. I'm here for you. You guys give me the energy, so I really do appreciate it. Uh, have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas to you, and we'll see you next time.